hope you are well. Today we are doing something that I have really been putting off. I have been trying to build momentum and energy to work on cleaning out my closet and decluttering. This will be the first of many spring cleaning videos that we have on the horizon because I definitely am feeling the urge to tidy and we have we have quite a bit of spots that could use a little sprucing. So I'm excited to start with the closet. My main goal is of course to find pieces that I would like to give away and then I'm also going to do something that I've sort of done a little bit in the past but I'm going to do it a bit more adamantly this year and put away some of my obvious winter and autumn clothing pieces and I actually ordered vacuum seal bags um, because I used that recently for seasonal decor and it worked really well so I'm gonna use it for clothing and then I have this big basket which might need a bigger basket we'll see but my plan is to keep the clothing in this basket and put it at the top of our closet for safekeeping and then I also am pregnant so I want to put away and have a separate pile or bag full of any clothing pieces that I know I'm not going to wear for many many months so like jeans and pants that button up I basically plan to just live in skirts and flowy dresses and stretchy pants for the next four or so months so that's the plan but excited to start sprucing and tidying everything up. I know it'll feel so good once we complete it all. I'm kicking off the cleaning with this corner of our room because I've had this suitcase out since we went to Sedona last month and I actually had a pile of other things that I already started cleaning up um, this morning. I had a snack bag that I took on the airplane. There was still an apple in there. It's been in there for weeks so that was not a pretty sight. But, you know, I'm trying to have grace with myself, but now it's time to put the suitcase away. One thing that's been um, my excuse for not putting it away is I want to use my magic eraser on it because it really got disheveled <laughs> when I checked when I checked it. It has a lot of markings on it, which, you know, that happens after time, but I really love the yellow color of this suitcase. So... Let's see if the magic eraser can help spruce it up a bit. Now that we cleared that corner, we can use this area for our piles. So I guess I need a few piles. So we'll have one for autumn, one for winter, so like any heavier jackets, which I don't have that many of them, so. But they do take up a lot of space, so we'll do that. And then any um, clothing that I won't need till later after our baby comes so i think just three piles we'll start with oh and giveaway of course i actually pulled out a trash bag so i'm sure we'll fill this up nice and quickly when i was in college in my early career i absolutely loved blazers so i have Pretty much a blazer in every color. Let's let's see how many we have. We have pink. We have blue. We have this. Is this houndstooth? We have. Oh, this is cute. Um, like a white 
This is like a casual blazer, but a white and uh, yellow gingham. We have a yellow blazer. We have a gray blazer. We have another yellow blazer. <laughs> we have a purple blazer. We have a hot pink blazer, a deep pink blazer, and a cream blazer. And ask me how, when was the last time I wore a blazer. I have no idea. I wear this, um, I actually forgot to show you this one, this tan blazer. I wear this one in autumn quite a bit. It's like a really cute oversized blazer. It's fun to style, like do a more um, mix and match, like casual, but with a blazer look, like with a baseball cap and stuff. I like that look sometimes, but I really don't wear all these blazers anymore, but they feel sentimental. Not that I really miss that life stage at all, but it just feels like part of me. And I'm really not one to be so attached to clothing but I will say, I have had multiple moments where I'm like, oh shoot, I wish I didn't give that away, or oh darn, I should have kept that for this occasion, or this like random event. So I need to just let go of that. Um, so I'm, I'm working on that. But the blazers, I am gonna try to give away a few. But like my hot pink, pink blazer, and my like pink one, and yellow one, I probably will keep because I just feel like they're a part of me and things always come back and, and even though blazers, yes I wore it in like my young professional career but also I could see blazers just being incorporated more often like in a few years so you never know when things are going to come back but also it's a balance of like holding on to special pieces but not being too closed fist with things. in my closet in a long time and I just saw another thing that I can't give away this is just a forever 21 jacket that I had for so long but for our wedding I had a calligrapher write forever and always and then it says 2-2-2019 two, two, which is our wedding date you probably can't even see the, the writing so there you go it's a better a better view but I have to keep this forever this is one of those items where you just like it's so sentimental I will say I'm being kind of ruthless. I am like just giving, the the trash bag is already full of giveaway items. So, oops, I just ripped it. <laughs> so we're gonna need to load up on some other bags, but this is already so incredibly satisfying. I feel like I'll just have so much more mental clarity as well when I'm getting dressed in the morning, especially in the season of life I'm in, when my body's changing. I feel like it'll just be, a lot better mentally to just have these pieces that you know are really good for this time of year and of course I'm still keeping some things like these sweaters and stuff I'm not gonna be able to wear much longer in Florida but sometimes you know for different little getaways they might be good or I still wear cardigans and sweaters quite a bit even in the summer months not outside at all but in air conditioning like different buildings it's so cold because they blast the air conditioning because it's so hot outside and i remember i thrifted this cheetah robe i thought it was so cute <laughs> i wore it um i think i took it to new york one time and i like dressed it up <laughs> so fun i think i think it's time to go back to the thrift store though another jacket that I feel like I just took so many pictures in and I felt so fabulous wearing it I have zero desire to wear it but this kind of piece I know I would wish I had it for like a fun themed party or something so we're gonna hold on to it and it does have a little sentimental value which who would have thought this would have sentimental value So many puffer jackets for someone who lives in Florida. I don't understand. Don't hold back on me. Only better if you say.
making so much progress. I will say it still feels very full in here, even though I've cleared out so much, but there's still more work to do. Also, fun fact, Brandon made this stepping stool in his carpentry class in high school, or woodworking class. Shout out to Mr. Zubricky. <laughs> Except it does kind of tilt sometimes. <laughs> I love going through bags and seeing if there's stuff in the pockets. I found a mask, which not good memories. <laughs> and then I found a wig cap from when I worked at Disney. What else is in here? Oh, a really old charger. That definitely doesn't fit my phone anymore. Some headphones and lots of bobby pins. Ooh, an old to-do list. That's fun. Um, plan flat lay, Instagram passport, email counselor, spider web wall. <laughs> what is this? Yoga, nail polish, remove. <laughs> I have no idea. French. I took French for a year or a couple semesters and a bunch of kiss marks, <laughs> I think, to get my lipstick off. <laughs> we have an event we're headed off to, so I need to take a break mid-project, leaving our room in total disarray, but we're making a lot of progress. It's, it's a little overwhelming where I'm at because I feel like I still have a lot I would like to do, but, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there, baby steps. Okay, we're back in business. I'm sleepy, but... We gotta do something because <laughs> our bed's covered with clothing. I think I'm gonna save, well, we're definitely gonna bring this into day two just because I, I don't wanna rush it. I'm sleepy and I don't wanna rush it. I really wanna be intentional with it. So we'll just bring this pile to this section. I'm gonna organize my shoes tonight. That's my goal. And then bring this pile to this section and then we have our vacuum seal bags and so we can start playing with those in our different piles. And I think there was something else I wanted to do tonight. No, we'll just leave it at that. I'm gonna organize these shoes and then in the closet, I'm going to just make room for the other shoes I have out there. And we'll deal with the rest in the morning. <laughs> I keep the shoes I wear the most on the bottom of this little clothing rack in the corner. So I'll decide which shoes I want to keep out later on, but for now I'm just going to try to put them all in the closet, which maybe that would be better to do anyways, and then I can just have a more minimal clothing rack out here. getting close I'm confused why my closet still feels so full such a blessing by the way but I feel like I've cleared well I know I've cleared out so many pieces but it still feels very full so I'm confused I feel like the math is not mathing but we're making progress we definitely are making progress that is an or that's undeniable so that feels good what I want to work on now I have a few piles that we're gonna get to soon and then we're gonna start rolling things in the vacuum seal bags 
but I have some storage at the top of the closet where I already have some bins that I'm gonna utilize probably maybe not every single one of them because we have that big basket I'm gonna try to put up there but I have those three bins and I'll probably just switch out that pink one but in the pink one I have Christmas like sweaters and stuff so maybe we'll put those in vacuum seal bags or just move them to a different spot and then I have swimsuits and I have like scarves scarves and maybe like mittens and stuff and then couldn't even tell you what I have in that last one and I also have a picnic basket so we'll probably rehome the picnic basket and put it somewhere else home stretch the last little section is not even in my closet it's the little clothing rack I have and I was wondering why I have so little hangers which still is perplexing me a little bit because in our closet I um clearly clearly cleared out so much but I only have three empty hangers which that just doesn't make sense to me so I was a little confused about that, but I think part of the reason is because I have all of these hangers out here and I actually do hang quite a bit of clothing out here. So this is the section that I love to kind of put any pieces that I've been wearing really frequently, any more seasonally inspired pieces. So I have some already out here and depending on how many hangers we have left, we'll grab some more from the closet. It just got so dark in here. My camera is actually doing a good job of making it look lighter, but it is absolutely storming outside. A cozy afternoon shower. We love it. cute I just love this color palette so much and here's the pile of giveaway items not too shabby okay here's our finished product we still are not a minimalist that is definitely for sure but <laughs> we made a lot of progress and again I'm just thankful for the mental clarity and just have all my favorite pieces at the forefront that I know I'm gonna wear a lot in this season of life so very thankful we made time to do this and I just made my favorite little simple deodorizer that I'm just going to keep in here for a few days. It's baking soda and some peppermint and lemon essential oil. I'm always shocked at how much it actually permeates a room and a space. Sometimes I'll sprinkle it on the couch or the carpet but sometimes I'll just put it in a bowl and it'll really freshen up a space. 
thank you for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it definitely looking forward to more sprucing up in spring cleaning that we have to look forward to on the horizon but thank you so much again for watching i hope you are well and i'm excited to see you next